Welcome back to Panator Plays Fable Fortune Alpha Edition. It is still an alpha. Its Kickstarter is still active. The link to which is in the description below. Please support the game. And today we're going to play Custom Merchant 1 because renaming stuff is actually still kind of buggy. Anyway, the, the cards, uh, his hero ability rather, is to pay 2 gold to get a gold piece in your hand. Now you can use that gold piece to gain gold for a turn on a later turn. So basically you can burst out big spells and big creatures thanks to this ability. Think of it as a weird investment that never really pays itself off and only works in this situation because of the way money disappears at the end of your turn. So we're going to go with a little controller because that's the cards we have. So it's blackmail for some sciences and more gold pieces. Broadside for some board clears. Cabin boy because he adds even more gold pieces to our hand and basically costs half of his uh, cost. He also has invest because he can up, you can uh, pay two more to upgrade him to a 4-2. That's their thing by the way. Invest if you pay the additional gold as listed in the ability. Uh, you get the additional effect. Horn of the Deep is a good board clear at 9 cost. I don't think I'm ever going to use it to silence all units because the destruction of everything is worth it because we can then start playing bigger and bigger creatures. So I feel like I've, depending on the deck we play, either uh, the deck we're fighting, either we're going to go straight up and start wrecking face uh, by playing bigger minions faster than they can or we'll just, you know, we'll just hold them off until we can clear the board and then start playing our cards. But anyway, short-term investment, uh, add two gold pieces to your hand, great value for this because it uh, it only costs three, so it's a little cheaper than your standard hero power. Trade secrets is amazing, draw two cards, they cost one less. Black market dealer gives you even more card advantage. It's a little understated, but uh, the extra card is certainly worth it. Intrepid lookout, uh, it has a morality ability. I forget what it does, and I wish we could check it out. I don't know how to check it outside of a game. Uh, press gang, summon a unit from your deck, which is why I my curve is a little top heavy. Aside from the fact that uh, we're going to get a lot of gold, we have press gang. If we pay 10, we summon two units from our deck. Summon. Now, since it's a summon, I doubt that our morality abilities are actually going to click. But you never know. It might actually work that way. So we'll find out in game. That's, that's the point here. Uh, Counterfeit deal is amazing. Summon a copy of a target unit and then silence the original unit. So you get a better version of what they have. What I don't know is if it copies their current status. Let's say it's damaged. It used to be a 5-5 and it's now a 5-3. Will it become a 5-3 and the other one is silenced? I will see. We'll find out. That's the fun of it. Uh, Kill hauler is good good stats good cost uh, six for six six and a ten for ten ten lord of bower lake because it has morality and is six debt collector because it comes into play and hurts people uh, can lead to better board clear with broadside and gives you more gold if the target survives because you can't collect a debt from someone who's dead which kind of just makes sense kidnap to steal enemy units and bigger targets treasure hunter because it's in theme and because it transforms and Hero of Oakvale because it's a fabled card and I'd like to play with something bigger. Uh, Chicken Vengeance is our trophy because I can't think of anything else. All right, let's go find a game. Oh, holy shit, we found a match and it's against a prophet. That's okay. Uh, not the opening hand we want here. Yeah, I'm going to spend some gold and I'm going to check everything but the cabin boy. I hope this is a good match. I hope they don't just leave mid-match because that would be... Kind of disappointing. You're gonna hear some background noise because this isn't necessarily my normal recording time. I live in a fairly noisy neighborhood. There we go. We'll, ju we'll just dump all of these. And look for none of this. I, I want none of this. Ah, eh, Cabin Boy it is. Uh, yes, Cabin Boy. He's gonna give us gold and some early aggression. But if he plays the 2-3, we're in a lot of trouble. Because the two three will trade into him, and then he'll heal it, and then he's gonna get bigger and badder, which is very bad for everybody involved. That's the one replicating shard. I will actually spend a broadside to kill that early. It's very unfortunate, but yeah, we gotta broadside this. I need it dead, because if it lives, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, do we want the extra coin? Nah, because you're going to turn into a coin when you die. And yeah, let's move on. Uh, not a good starting hand, to be honest. I was hoping for some uh, short-term investments and that thing that lets us draw two cards that cost one less. That would have been sweet. 
And we don't even have the morality for this yet. So I'm not even tempted to use Intrepid. I, I, I might use it for 4 or 5. I mean... Big entrance and add a card with invest to your hand. That's okay. What the hell is this thing? Oh, draw a card, huh? Hmm. Both bad. Unfortunate, but that's gonna have to be the way of things. Let's see. He has a potential 7 health on this thing because he can heal it up, which means you're probably gonna die, give us some gold, and then do nothing. <sighs> Please go for my face. Because he's just gonna hit it and heal it. So we got some problems. <sighs> not a bad, uh, not a good start to the game so far. Fanatic! Look at the thing I'm gonna punch. He's not gonna heal it. Now that's interesting. Oh, it has a rush. And it's gonna punch my dude. And we have problems. We got big problems. I need a way uh, to deal damage. Hmm. We can do that. We can kill this at least. So we have less problems as a whole. I mean, we're not gonna get the extra two gold, but that's okay. Uh, right now, I'd rather control the board. I mean, we will die to this, but it's still a two for one. Oh, there we go. I actually prefer the plunder power. This one doesn't seem all that interesting. Pay five to get two, uh, to get two gold pieces. No, thank you. At least we have our first level now. Now that we have morality active. Hmm. Morality two, three, two. Morality two. Yeah, we can we can handle that. <clears throat> Actually, wouldn't be surprised if we go straight for face. I don't think it's that efficient to. Damn it. We have been smitten. Well, if the game below, there we go. Not a good match so far. Uh, replicating shard is not that much of a threat later on. Uh, spend gold. Let's see, free free challenges both of them, so I'm okay with it. And we do have eight on field. Uh, black market dealer first. Let's see what we get. From his discover effect. Debt collector. Art of the deal. Heart of the deep. I will get Horn of the Deep for some later game control. Just in case it becomes absolutely necessary. Then I'll spend a gold piece. Then I'll play an eager cadet. Because this is a good challenge to the board. He can cross up and we can clear each other. But that's basically part of my plan at this point. Man. This will be deadly for him. I could also blockade next door if he decides to go face. I think that's the problem many people face in the game right now. They don't know whether to go to face or not. First time, uh, this is the first time I faced a profit deck. Let's see, heal uh, a character for two, give a random friend a unit plus one stir. Not really concerned about that. It's basically still gonna end up the same way. The trades uh, still look good. He can trade up here and here, but they're still all dead. <clears throat> Unless he can make this, you know, tougher. In which case, we may have some concerns mounting. Yeah, I can. It, it took me a, a very long time to actually find a good, uh, a good match. Oh, don't guard it! Don't guard it, or I'll play a blockade and run into everything, and then get a good deal by running. He's gonna blockade it. That's an okay trade. That's exactly what I expected, and he he played a dude. Lord of Bar Lake. What do you do? Big entrance gain 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sure. I'm a big guy for you. The question is, do we give it guard? Can I afford to take 5 damage? Probably. So let's tag. Uh, let's get another gold piece. Ooh. Choose a trophy. Uh, Chicken Vengeant is okay. Now I don't want the coin. Now I would have preferred the other thing. Now I, I still don't know how trophy card cards work. I should probably Google that somehow. So now he's got a problem because he can't deal with this guy. He's 8-7. Nothing. He needs to play something out of his hand to make it work. So we're challenging the board appropriately. Ah, oh, fuck that guy. Fuck Shroud. I'm gonna steal Shroud. I swear to fucking god I'm gonna steal Shroud. Yeah, then Shroud's gonna shoot this. 
Me again. Me again. You are uncool, Shroud. Okay, that's not necessarily something we want right now. Wow, we can't even shoot the guy, and Strahd is just gonna kill it. Hey, what's your 7-5 basic? Yeah, 7-5 basic. Uh, we might have to let Shroud go on this one. But I do want to spend some gold. Actually, we can silence him. Yeah, we can silence him. Actually, I'm gonna... Maybe I should let Strahd live. Hmm. Oh, I guess the trophy is something you get when you're like... Uh, when you complete something. Uh, when you complete a quest. Now we're gonna do... This. It's not a good series of plays. I'm just trying to spend mana or uh, spend gold right now. Uh, I could waste the blockade. Blockade's probably going to leave the deck after this. E yes, I want to spend. That's really all I want to do. Uh, okay. Convert to pit. Invest. So 4 for 2 is a, like a double use of our hero power in one turn. I'd rather be evil. So now we're level 2 and now you can do something with that. We have two, 1 gold piece. Uh, sure. We'll let that slide. So Stroud might not kill it. If he shoots straight for me, which is totally fine. Blockade is turning out to be a dead card. Shimmering Mirage. Oh, no. Actually, I'm, I can wait for him to spam the deck. Like, I can totally wait for him to spam the deck, uh, spam the field. I can even wait for like, a few more turns before we nuke everything. See, that's four cards, five cards. That's fine. That's fine. So you got a trophy. Sure, sure, sure. Come on. Play another dude. At least it can't attack. Yay! Yay! Shroud, shroud control. I should probably nuke this. It's a little too greedy to not do it. <sighs> and we've got the card advantage somehow. And it's been pretty gold. I can do that. Uh, I will invest. Uh, let's do this over, shall we? Let's heal up. Do over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, we now have a bounty hunter, so we can shoot some of his tinier units if absolutely possible. Well, that was the point of that spell anyway, to give us a do over turn. And we've got it. Play four units. Ah, no, alright. He's probably gonna do that. Ooh, yes. Spam the board. I'd love to drop another bounty hunter. I'm probably gonna remove blockade. It doesn't appear to be doing as much as I. Hope it would add and replace it with a lower drop, something which shoots things on the field. Over eager cadet. No problems. No problems. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, we have treasure hunter. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Explode. Thank you. So now we got some money left. Neither of these really challenge the field that well. So I might just go for trade secrets. Or add a gold piece. Because I'm not sure what I want to play afterwards anyway. Hmm. I wonder if silencing this actually works the way I think it will. Oh yes. What do you know? It does. It removes its abilities and stuff. So now we have two gold pieces. And we're going to spend to play something that can challenge the field. Field challenged. I could even guard this guy. Four. And guard. Now you have problems. 
We've done it, we've stabilized, and now we just need to grind him out, which is exactly the kind of playstyle I prefer. Let's play big things and start punching people in the head. Right now the tempo is with us, but I don't know enough of their tempo swinging cards to figure out whether, how good a position we're actually in. Huh, blockades are actually very good now. Protect the profit, give a friendly team. Oh, okay. So, who gets the thing? Still dead. Get out attacking to this, fine by me. Okay, probably gonna go trade secrets now. Yo, my little blood bug. Uh, trade secrets, draw two cards. Oh, kidnap. Keel hauler, very interesting. I could wait another turn for that, but I won't. I'd prefer to have him on the field, period. Ah, uh, keel hauler, yes. Ah, uh, barman. Okay, more evil. Ah, uh, add a gold piece. Not really a fan of his abilities so far, of his hero powers developments. So though. Do, 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 do. We're blowing stuff up. Okay, next turn. Uh, still 10. Yeah, we've accomplished our quest, so we can actually go... Uh, we actually have a clear in Paragon of Evil for the hero Oak Veil, so if he decides to play yeah, something like that, we can ruin it. We can also... We don't need to silence it. Give plus one, plus one. We can trade this into this and then go for face. But I don't necessarily like that call. <clears throat> And we have board advantage, which is absolutely... <gasps> Actually... Can I have that? Thank you! Money talks, man. So now we have a gold piece and now we can pick... I would actually like... A pointy stick. Not gonna use it right now. We're gonna wait until it can turn the tide in our favor because it's also free. So now we've got the clear, now we've got the control. I feel like we're going to have a lot of problems against board spamming. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. It's a barman with two maids. And of course he's going to guard one of them. Heal a character for six. Probably going to heal himself. Yeah, he's probably gonna, he's going to heal himself. No problem, man. <clears throat> Nobody is guarded. Let's see. Okay. So we have... One gold piece, so we have 11 total. So, counterfeit deal does nothing right now for us. And I want to get a little bit more value out of our blockade. So, I think we're gonna be play patient. We're gonna do this a little bit more slowly. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're a late game deck. Hmm, because I want to clear the board. <laughs> Playing that means we have the maximum number of units on the field, six, and now we can clear the aforementioned board. We have four more gold left, but we won't need any of that to give that guy a pointy stick. Okay, now we have control of the field and tempo. Now we can give him the guard to give us some much needed healing. I will plunder to give us more options and more money. Okay, some delays here. That's just the server catching up. It is an alpha. There we go. What's better than one pointy stick? Two pointy sticks. <laughs> so we have... It's a small thing, but I wish we could rearrange the cards in our hands. But hey, what you gonna do? If we ever lose control of the board, we always have Hero of Oakvale to start over fresh. I mean, Paragon of Evil. Um, so we're in a very good spot. This is exactly the spot we needed. We have control and we can handle anything that he throws at us, probably. That has always been the game plan. That's why we have so many control cards in our deck. We copy them, we silence them, we bribe them, we steal them, we cheat them, and we win with big creatures. Hey, it's not a bad plan, of course. Money talks and that's our game plan. Return a damaged enemy unit to your opponent's hand. Okay. I would trade these two into this. Might not even need to do that. Oh, debt collector. Oh, did we overdraw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. What do you know? There is a hand size limit of 10. Just like Hearthstone. I wonder if there's anything else we can play. Uh. Yeah. Invest 6. I have two gold pieces, so we'll play the keel hauler for normal. 
Uh, yes. Why are you damaged? And then we'll play gold piece. And another gold piece. And a blockade. Uh, yes. I would like the buff, please. Actually, now we're awkwardly numbered, but I'd, lo I'd love to remove some people from my board anyway. Uh, this will do. Why is he damaged? Could have used pointy stick to make a better trade and maintain more of the board, but it, it, I think it's still gonna work out. We are in control. Something appears to have riled up the dogs, don't you worry about them. I'm gonna try to edit it out in post so you don't get annoyed by outside noises. But those are my dogs and I love them very much. Okay, not much to say about this right now. We're in a good position, we're dominating the board, and we're gonna answer all these threats. Which is all we've ever wanted. Stone Disciple, transform that into 7, 8, 9. Math is not my forte. Ah, uh, I wanna say 16. Hmm, 16, 17, hmm. Oh, that's not good. That is detrimental to our attempts at success. Huh, I don't know why it's showing up as red, so he's wounded? I will pointy stick this and punch that guy in the head, and now my guy will live. Trade secrets out. Now to be a true businessman. Short term investment into black market deal. Oh, I feel like I'm doing so much, but basically I'm just drawing cards, getting money, and getting people on the field. It feels great. Uh, cast away, shuffle an enemy into your opponent's neck. Don't mind if I do. And punch him in the head, punch him in the head. Oh, have you, oh yeah, you've attacked already. Uh, cast away, no need to cast anything, moving on. We have firmly established board control, and now we can control individual units. And now he's not drawing so much, so I'm not that concerned. Heal for six? Still threatening lethal, I think. Ah, oh, man. Really? You're gonna heal yourself up? Okay, four, eleven, uh, that's not count. Not lethal. I'll play you. I need to reduce my hand size anyway. Hand size anyway. There we go. So there is a maximum hand size of 10. That's good to know. It's also weird, but sometimes I think there's a card hiding over there, but that's probably not true. Yeah, that's about right. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's try to look for another match if... If there isn't another match, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can subscribe to the Dark Fluffy Cloud channel so you don't miss a thing. I'm Padnator, and I got Castaway. I'll see you later.